Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a simple bar chart using Python, specifically I'm using JupyterLab and Python 3. So a bar chart is actually a simple way to um, display some data, so to a graph or a visualization. Uh, it alternatives could be a pie chart or a dot plot. And uh, I call this simple because there's also stacked and uh, there's also clustered, um, which is usually if you have more than one uh, variable. And this is the code that I'll actually be going over. I'll try to make it one s slice bigger for you so it's easier to read. Um, so that's the code and this would be the result. Uh, don't worry, this is just a warning that has to deal with loading this data set. Um, so this is it. That's what I'm going to show. I'll go over it in slightly more detail. So to show an example, I will we'll need some data. So I'm going to be using pandas for that. Um, import pandas and then load the data actually. Uh, I will put this file in the description so you can download and perhaps follow along. Um, and then just show the head and that's where that warning came from. Now I need one of these um, because there's quite a lot of data in here so I'm going to be using uh, in this case the marital status which was mar1 and uh, I can get a quick overview of that by using the value uh, counts and that will show me that there were 972 married, uh, 395 never married etc and this I want to be shown in a bar chart. To visualize this, I'll be using the pie plot. Uh, not sure if I pronounced that correct. So I'll need the matplotlib, uh, and I'm gonna name it plt, which uh, is often actually done, so that you don't have to write down out in full every time this pie plot. Then um, there are a few different ways to actually get the bar chart. Um, you can just say plot, so my frequency is plot, and then say that you want as a kind of plot you want the bar. And I always think it's good to label your axis. So in this case, I'm going to label it frequencies. And basically, that's it. There, there we have a basic, very basic bar chart. Uh, there's plenty you can do with this. For example, if I instead want to have frequencies, I want to have percentages. I can simply sum the frequencies and multiply by 100. Then I have percentages. And then simply plot those. Uh, so these are the percentages. And then I can simply plot those and then, yeah, uh, now it's a percentage bar chart. Uh, we can actually also use the bar module instead of the plot. Uh, then we need to have the keys, and the so the categories separate and the height, so the frequencies or the percentages, whichever you prefer. So I'm going to use values that will have the frequencies and keys that will actually have the categories, as you can see. So, uh, so these are the frequencies, and these are the corresponding categories, and then I can say bar and then categories and counts. Um, just for fun, you can rotate uh, these axes so that the labels will be rotated a little bit, and then you have something like and this. You can also actually add colors if you want. You can say that the colors are, and then it's uh, red, blue, uh, red, green, and blue, I think, and then the transparency. And you can also set the edge color. There's so much you can do. Uh, just to have a look, this is the one that I showed all the way in the beginning. Um, there's also an entirely different library called Seaborn that is particularly useful sometimes for data visualization. Uh, there, they're called a count plot. So if I load the Seaborn, you m if you don't have Seaborn, you can install it using, usually it's something like pip install uh, Seaborn first, and then you can import it. Um, then use count plot, and as you can see, that will give you almost the exact same result, uh, but they actually coloring automatically the bars a little bit separately, and it gives you already uh, labels for the axis. So this was just a very quick video on how to make a very basic bar chart. Hopefully it was helpful for you.